Hi everybody! Today I'm making whole wheat pasta with chestnuts, mushrooms, and tomatoes. The first step is to deal with the chestnuts. So I'm using actually vacuum-packed chestnuts. So I'm gonna submerge these in the water as soon as they, as soon as the water starts to boil. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna get the other onion chopped. A little bit of garlic to that, those three cloves that coarsely chopped. I'd like to use fresh tomatoes in this dish. Here are teardrop tomatoes. For aesthetic reasons, I like to cut them in a couple of different ways. So some of them are halved across the width and some of them are halved lengthwise. The chestnuts have to be boiled for a few minutes and then we're gonna open the pack and we're gonna get started on the sauce. A little bit of olive oil. The olive oil has to heat up a little bit. So I'm going to add the coarsely chopped onions next. While those soften, I'm going to remove the chestnuts. The onions need to cook for about eight minutes or so until they're nice and soft and have a little color on them at a medium heat level. Whole wheat pasta is, is something I always gravitate toward because it's high in complex carbs. Um, it's rich in iron and zinc, magnesium and fiber. The other great thing about this dish is the chestnuts. They're very rich in vitamin C. Uh, they're very rich in potassium and magnesium. They're a really healthy nut. They're rich in fiber. They have less calories, fewer calories, and less fat uh, than most other nuts. So it's kind of a good thing to keep in mind uh, if you're looking for ways to reduce your meat consumption. Chestnuts are a great alternative. So about seven or eight minutes have gone by. You want to be careful um, not to get them burning. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic to that. Those It's time to also add the chestnuts. Get the, add those. The next thing that goes in here are the mushrooms. So I'm actually using dried mushrooms today. So I'm just taking the mushrooms out of their soaking liquid and use any dried or fresh mushroom. And you can play around as well and use a variety of mushrooms. Also, I wanna drain out some of the mushroom liquid because if you are using dried mushrooms, the liquid that you soak them in is really flavorful. So I might add a little of that to the sauce. Uh, the next thing are the tomatoes, and I'm gonna give that a stir. While the mushroom chestnut tomato mixture is cooking, I'm going to get going on the pasta. I'm just going to bring that to a boil. Next, I'm going to season this with a little salt. The, the top of the salt as they collect it, and it's really, really flavorful. A little bit of the mushroom soaking liquid. Now I'm adding a little red wine, and I'm just going to let that cook down now for a few minutes. Now you can use almost any fresh herb you like in here. A couple of sprigs of rosemary in the sauce would be very nice. Fresh oregano, would, mint. You always want to salt your pasta water after it starts boiling. And final, pasta sauce is ready. I will take a little bit of the pasta cooking liquid. And we want to get the pasta right into the pan with the sauce. Mix that all around. A little bit of the pasta cooking liquid just to give it some additional juiciness. And I will, of course, add a little bit of my extra virgin agurello, the early harvest olive oil, and the parsley, a little bit of black pepper. This smells really good. It's a wonderful dish. Um, it kind of approximates the texture of meat because of the chestnuts and the mushrooms. But more than that, it's totally vegan. Now, if you want to add a little vegan cheese to this, you can. I tend to gravitate toward the cashew milk cheeses if I'm using a vegan cheese. Parmesan, parmigiana would be nice on this. Even a little feta would be nice on it. Add a little parsley to the top of this just to make it even prettier. And now I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. The firmness of the whole wheat pasta, that beautiful fiber, you get it in every bite. The meatiness of the chestnuts and the mushrooms together. 
It's a wonderful dish 